I grew up around mathematicians, and that was wonderful because I really learned the fundamentals of science and physics. But I chose to study physics and specifically photonics because it's an area where we can combine really fundamental science with things that are very useful to our real life. And in particular, when we can really introduce new methods for generating energy, I think that's a very impactful way to uh, live our lives and do our jobs. I'm doing research in the area of thermal radiation. All bodies that have an unzero temperature emit thermal radiation. So what I'm trying to do is to find ways to harness this radiation for renewable energy and other applications. So in principle, it's a very simple topic, but with the help of nanophotonics, we try to find applications that are relevant to any different field of life. More than 50% of the energy we uh, generate and produce in the world, we waste back into the environment as waste heat. So finding efficient ways to recycle this back into useful energy and electricity is incredibly important today. And one of the ways to do that is with nanophotonics at mid-IR frequencies, which is what I do. We are a new group, um, quite small at the moment, and we're always looking for passionate people to work with us. I came to Spain from uh, Stanford, and before that I was at Caltech, so most of my academic friends are in the US. Now I'm making friends in Europe, and I'm very passionate about sending my own group members to maintain these friendships and collaborations with people all over the world, in the US and within Europe. I did my PhD in London, uh, where I studied um, theoretical nanophotonics. So I thought coming to ICFO and changing topic to thermal photonics, I could apply this knowledge to uh, something more useful for, for the world, for the planet, for example, for energy generation. So aside from being uh, an incredible place to do research in general, due to the facilities that are here, to the people that are here, uh, ICFO is great to do uh, research uh, to try and make our planet more livable for more years, because we have this uh, Clean Planet program. I like the fact that I can use the most fundamental ideas into uh, applied world and which could concern the current crisis that we have in terms of energy. So my project here mainly concerns about uh, using harvesting thermal radiation in the field of energy, renewables mainly. I did my PhD and a couple of postdocs in Paris and I was mainly interested in the visible part of the spectrum. However, given the main crisis that we have at this moment, which is energy and early detection of diseases, we need to look at the mid-infrared part of the spectrum and that is what our group is working on. That is what uh, thermal photonics is all about. It's about new materials and characterizing and getting new devices that will help the mid-infrared part of the spectrum. I'm really interested in, in working on energy applications because of the climate crisis and thermal photovoltaics uh, has many kinds of application for, for energy. But one of them in particular is that of thermal batteries, where the idea is to store the electricity as heat and reconvert it on demand as electricity using this technology. So the way my group works is that someone is responsible for a single thing that could be an instrument, that could be a software, tool that could be a specific method that we are developing so that we're all working together rather than having a hierarchical structure which I think is the best way for people to learn and also become independent leaders.